Okay, so this is how you would change your ink, edible ink for the printer, for the Canon MX922 printer. Um, here you can see my magenta is low, my yellow is yo low, and my um, blue is also low. Do that. Um, and everything, all the little cartridges should come to you. I would suggest getting a plate to put your cartridge on, a um, little exacto knife or something to puncture your hole. Definitely have napkins on hand because it does, it can get messy. So for now, it looks like I need to switch out the magenta. I am going to go ahead and pull this one out first. Pulled it out, you can see it's sort of empty. I want to try filling these, I haven't done it, I've just been buying them, but if I do that, I'll make sure to show you guys how to do that. So this is how they come, the edible inks, and you take this off. Actually, let me wait on taking that off because it does leak. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull this off first. Make sure you don't touch the little green chip in the back. I am going to, instead of pushing, just let me make sure it's the right section here. But you make a little hole in there. And I just wanna make sure that I'm making the hole in the right area. Well, I can't really see it there, but I'm gonna go ahead and just push it. Make a little hole in there. Let's see. Get this open. So you can see this one actually already has like a little hole. So basically, we are making a hole through here, you know, so that it can breathe. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna cut a hole through this. That way it has a little breathing room. Just gonna go ahead and put that back like that. Maybe I'll add a little um, piece of tape there because I peeled that off, but they're all a little different. Well, the other one had like a little hole I had to press. This one seems like it's already open. So, um, bring this back up. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know if that messes with it, but we'll find out. Let's see. Okay, so um, I have my napkins on hand, but take this thing off. Take that off. Sometimes it will leak down there when you do that. So all you do is slide it in. slide it in and then make sure you press down all the way till it lights up there we go so they are all looks like the yellow also needs to be replaced so let's go ahead and look at the yellow okay so this is how you get the ink cartridge again make sure you always have a napkin on hand um, Anything you may need, this one comes wrapped, so I'm just gonna use my scissors to open it. There it goes. And remember not to touch the green at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little hole again through here. to make sure that you feel that it went through because um, that's what's gonna let it breathe and again I might just peel it like this peel it to see where that is that hole is we really do want to know if you are making it in the right place Mm 
there it is. That's where the hole actually was down here versus up here. So that's why I took that off because I want to make sure I'm making that little vent hole in the right spot. And this one's stuck, so I'm not going to put tape on it, but I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off here first. And then I'm going to take this off here. And very carefully because sometimes they leak or they, the ink pops out. Okay. Uh, this one's fine. It's not like quite leaking. Sometimes the blacks, they, uh, they leak. So go ahead and just try to slide this in. And again, make sure you press it all the way down. There it is. Um, I think I'm going to leave the blue because it's not showing that it needs to be replaced yet. It says it's slow, but doesn't quite have to be replaced just yet. Um, okay, so maybe my yellow isn't being red. It might need, um, I might need to make that little vent hole a little bit bigger. Let's see. Oh, and you can see it's the light's not on. So let's try that again. Make sure the light is on. Maybe I need to do this more gently all the way down. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's trying to read the ink. And there it goes. So my, my blue is a little bit low, but I think it'll still work. It's not indicating for me to change it yet. Um, but you can see all my different levels of um, ink. Let's see if I can get in a little closer for you guys. Um, the color is slightly distorted. Sorry about that. But there it goes. There you can see that it read it. Earlier it was um, telling me that it could not read the yellow, but that's because it popped off. So here you can see that I have a full magenta and yellow and I still have some, you know, black and a little bit of the blue. So that's it. That's how you put in an edible ink cartridge um, into your edible printer.